Want early access to new tutorials? Be sure to hit the join button on my channel to become a member and gain perks such as early access to new videos and one-on-one -on -one support on my Discord. Hey guys, it's Alpha and in today's 5M scripting tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a vehicle speedometer. This resource is going to be called Vehicle HUD. Uh, that's because I'm going to be adding other things to it as well in the future. So it's not only a speedometer. Um, this, these will be in future tutorials. So you might want to do the same if you're going to follow along in future tutorials. Um, what I mean by this is obviously going into my resources, I'm going to make a folder for it now. I'm going to call it Vehicle HUD instead of like vehicle speedometer because I'm going to add other things other than just the speedometer to the resource in the future. So obviously what we've done is created a folder for it now and we're going to create the fxmanifest.lua and then we're also going to need a client.lua so first we're going to fill in the fxmanifest.lua so we're going to need the fx underscore version cerulean Then we're going to need game, GTA 5. Oops, that needs a space. There we go. And we're also going to do author alpha. Obviously, you put your name. Description, a vehicle HUD version 1.0.0. And then we're also going to need client underscore script, client.lua. That's all we're going to need for the FX manifest so we can close out of that and then open up the client.lua. In here, we're going to need uh, four local variables declared at the start. So we're going to do miles per hour first. Um, we're going to be doing miles per hour and kilometers per hour. Uh, whatever one you want to use, you can choose. Uh, I am in Britain, so we use miles per hour. Um, you can use kilometers per hour if you'd like though. So miles per hour is 2.2369 for the calculation and then kilometers per hour, once I can get this comment typed, is mph equals 3.6. Uh, these are just comments and these are just to make sure that you know what each line is doing. You don't have to add them if you don't want to. I'm just doing it so you understand what is being said. Okay, we actually won't need these, I don't think. So we don't need to add those, Never mind. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do display text subroutine. So we're making a subroutine here, a function, which will show text on the screen. So I'm just gonna call it show text. And then we're gonna need one parameter. We can call it text. I'm gonna need to end the fun function. And then in here, we're gonna need to do set text font. And then the ID of the font I'm gonna use is four. You can search up the different fonts used in GTA or 5M, but I think uh, the one with ID4 is quite quite a nice looking font, so I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to need to do set text proportional. Hopefully, I don't misspell this. Proportional, I believe that's spelled correctly. And then we're going to do zero. And on the next line, we're going to do set text scale. This is the size that it's going to be displayed on the screen. I'm going to do 1.9, 1.9. Then we're going to do set text outline which is giving it a black outline makes the uh, text more bold don't actually need to put anything in the brackets for that then we're going to do set text entry and then in speech marks we're going to do string in all caps then we're going to do add text component string and then we're going to do text this is the argument that is passed up here the parameter so that will be whatever you put in when we call this function later on and then we're going to do draw text and then we've got to do the xy location on the actual screen of where we want it i'm going to put mine just above the uh, mini map in the bottom left so i'm going to do 0 0.02 i've already got these from uh, testing out the script earlier and then 0 0.7 let me just add a comment so you understand what that means x y like so and that's actually all we need for the function. So now we're going to go out of that and make a thread. And this is for the speedometer. So it's going to be citizen.create thread. And that's using uh, capital C, capital C, and capital T. And then we're going to do brackets. And inside of those, we're going to do function with more brackets. 
and then we're going to take this final bracket bring it down two lines and then do end to close off the thread and then inside of it we're going to do while true do don't know why that's just auto automatically gone to description there we go while true do and we're going to end that while statement as well or the while loop sorry and we're going to do citizen dot wait one this is so it adds a small delay to avoid crashing because if we don't add this this will run so quickly that it actually crashes the client so we need to add a quick wait then we're going to do local speed equals and then in brackets get entity speed and then more brackets get vehicle head is in make sure to add a <coughs> capital for each word and then in more brackets we're going to do get player head and then in more brackets we do minus one and then outside of the first set of brackets we're going to do a comma and then false and then outside two more brackets so we're going to skip two we're going to do asterisk and then i'm going to do miles per hour um if you want to use kilometers per hour you can but i'm going to use miles per hour you could just put this value here but i'm going to do miles per hour just because you can and then <coughs> on a new line just below that we're going to do an if statement which is if open bracket is head in any vehicle and then open bracket get player fed and minus one and then in uh, uh, after the first close bracket we're going to do comma false and then outside of the brackets we're going to do then and then we're going to do another if statement nested inside of this one if speed is less than one then show text and in speech marks zero what this is doing is if you're in a vehicle then if the speed is less than one then it will show zero for the miles per hour else so if it's, it's more than one miles per hour and it will show text math dot floor and then in brackets speed so if it's more than one mile per hour it will show your actual speed that you're currently doing and we're going to end that if statement and then end the other if statement that it's nested within and then that is actually all we need for the code so we can save the file and then we can minimize it and then go back to our server.cfg and in here we're actually going to start up the resource so i've called it vehicle hud remember whatever you call it has to be called exactly the same thing in your server.cfg it's case sensitive as well and then also the name of the resource cannot have any spaces so if you are doing ones like so you could just do a, a dash or an underscore uh, but yeah you can't have any spaces and once you've started that we can actually start up the server and jump into 5m to test it out and we're going to jump into localhost good spawn location okay i need to get to a road <laughs> Okay, now that we're at a road, we can use our previously created car spawning command to spawn in a vehicle. And as you can see in the bottom left, just below the minimap, it says zero because we're not doing any speed right now. But if we drive, as you can see, it goes up and that's in miles per hour. If you've done kilometers per hour, it'll be in kilometers per hour. Um, this updates, you know, in live time with your speed. Um, obviously, if you don't want it in this location, what you could do is go into the client.lua and change these values just here mess around with it as much as you want um, but I've just done it in this so it's just above the mini map you can also change the scale and color if you know what you're doing but yeah that's how you make the speedometer in future tutorials we're going to do other things with the vehicle HUD uh, so stay tuned for those if you enjoyed today's tutorial be sure to leave a like uh, leave a comment on what else you'd like me to do in the future uh, if you need any assistance or you want to assist anyone else in the community, be sure to join my Discord in the description. I've created a new one just for 5M support. So if you haven't joined that new one yet, be sure to do so. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.